Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this evening's edition of Moving Forward, a weekly presentation of the Congress of the People, where we try to keep you up to date with the latest political and social events as occurring here in Trinidad and Tobago. This week is a very important week in the history of Trinidad and Tobago because on Friday coming, it will be Friday, the 31st of August. And on that day, we shall be celebrating our 50th anniversary as an independent nation. And we would like to take this opportunity on behalf of the Congress of the People to extend best wishes to all of you, the people, the government, and the people of Trinidad and Tobago as we reach this very, very important milestone in our history. And it is something worth paying attention and following what is going to happen over the next few days, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and of course, the big day is on Friday. On today, there was a very, very important event which took place at the Atto Boland Stadium in Cuba when there was a national day of prayer and thanksgiving this afternoon, earlier this afternoon, organized by the Interreligious Organization. And there were a number of representatives from the various religious groups in our country who came forward and participated. His Excellency, the President of Trinidad and Tobago, was there. He addressed the audience. The Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Mrs. Kamla Pasad Bizessa, was there. She also addressed the audience. The Minister of Planning and Sustainable Development, Senator the Honorable Botiwari, was there, and he addressed the audience. And the Minister of National Diversity and Social Integration, the Honorable Clifton Dikoto, was also there, and he too addressed the audience. There was uh, some representation by the various arms of the interreligious organization. There are 25 different religious groups that constitute membership in the interreligious organization, and it was a tremendous sight to see all of them well represented. At that program today, they all gave two or three minutes highlight, uh, some small items, there were some songs, dance items, or the various religious groups, and it was a good sign for us, the people in Trinidad and Tobago, to see so many people of varied races and religions coming together in a national day of prayer and thanksgiving at the Atto Boland Stadium that took place earlier today at, in central Trinidad. We congratulate the interreligious organization and all those who came together to organize this big event that came off earlier today in central Trinidad. The next big one in connection with the celebrations leading up to our independence will take place on Thursday coming, the 30th of August, from 6 p.m. at the Woodford Square in Port of Spain. And we it's calling it uh, the attempt to celebrate together where it all started. You know, Woodford Square is an important location in the social and political history of Trinidad and Tobago. And many things happen at that Woodford Square, and many things continue to happen at Woodford Square. And it's a good place to remind us of our early days as an independent nation and what happened on Independence Day in 1962. So on Thursday coming, there's going to be a special event organized by the Ministry of Planning and Sustainable Development in celebration of our independence. It starts at uh, 6 o'clock in the afternoon, but before that, there shall be a number of activities at Woodford Square, including the Panya Jam, which will feature Tripolians and Petrotrin and Phase 2 and Foncler, Jazz Fusion, featuring Clive Zander Alexander, Michael Boothman, Leticia Sylvester, and Nigel Rojas of Orange Sky. There will also be performances by the Malik Folk Performers and the Susan Mohib Dance Company. There will be a performance of a young star, Jeremy Rodriguez. Then there will be greetings from His Worship, the Mayor of Port of Spain, Mayor Louis Lee Singh. Then Senator the Honorable Boindra Tiwari will make a special uh, speech on that evening. Then there should be further entertainment. Wendy Shepard and Wendell Constantine, H2O Flow, featuring Marie Carter, One Nation. Then there will be the Calypso Classics, Lord Relator, Joseph Adams, Ras Commander, Baron, King Austin, Stalin, Johnny King, Funny, Explainer, Mighty Trini, Gary Cordner, Nikki Salikram, and De Fosto himself. All of that taking place on Thursday coming at Woodford Square in Port of Spain. Then there will be Panjaz featuring Ray Holman and Len Bugzi Sharp. Dance featuring the Syrian Lebanese dance group, the Dai Alian Foundation and graduates, Sion Nurse and Juan Pablo Alba Dennis. Rapso Rhythm featuring Brother Resistance and Company. There'll be Chutney Songs with Jupati Ramgunai, Ricky Jai, Adesh Samaru, KI, accompanied by the Mellow Bugs Orchestra. Soka featuring Colonel Roberts, 
Poza, Crazy, Super Blue, JW and Blaze, Fian Lyons, Alvarez, and the reigning Independence Monarch from 2012 will also be performing. And then at 11.30 p.m., there shall be the flag raising ceremony, the reenactment when it really happened on the 31st of August, 1962. That procedure will be reenacted at Woodford Square. There will be the entrance and the arrival of the national flag. The flag will be received by the Honorable Prime Minister. There will be a flag hoisting ceremony. There will be the national anthem. There will be a blessing of the nation by a representative of the IRO. Mavis John will sing God Bless Our Nation. There will be special independence greetings by the Honorable Prime Minister, Mrs. Kamla Pusabi Sessa, and special independence greetings as well by His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Professor George Maxwell Richards. And after all of that, there will be fireworks display and then Marshall Montano live in concert. All of this is starting from 6 o'clock in the evening at Woodford Square in Port of Spain on Thursday coming. That's this Thursday. It will go right through 6 o'clock at midnight, past midnight, into the early mornings of early hours of Friday morning on Independence Day is when this program will be completed. And then early Friday morning, of course, you know you have the usual Independence Day military parade. And that will start around 8 o'clock at the Queen's Park Savannah in Port of Spain. And many people follow the activity, that activity. It will be going on as usual at the Queen's Park Savannah. You can go there with your children and your family and see the various arms of the security forces of Trinidad and Tobago perform some beautiful displays and marching and the music band and so on. It's a wonderful activity for all members of the family. So that will be taking place as usual on Friday morning at the Queen's Park Savannah in Port of Spain. Then a little later on Independence Day itself at the Queen's Hall, there will be the presentation of the Independence Awards by the President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. You know, every year on Independence Day, the President presents awards to important national celebrities who are nominated and who have been, will, have, will receive those awards on behalf of the people of Trinidad and Tobago. That will take place on Friday evening around 6 o'clock at the Queen's Hall in Port of Spain. And then again, Friday evening, there is going to be another big event, a free concert again. And this time it will take place at the Queen's Park Oval on the Independence Day. It's a journey to Jubilee. Come and celebrate an evening of celebration and reflection on 50 years of independence. Journey to Jubilee, Queen's Park Oval, 31st of August. That's Friday. That's the public holiday from 6 o'clock in the evening. Admission is absolutely free. And come and experience the largest assembly of performers ever to take the stage in the cultural show of a lifetime. There will be dramatic cultural presentations, over four and a half hours of breathtaking performances, spectacular special effects and fireworks displays. And come and see the nation's favorite performers, including Ella Andel, Nival Chetlal, Silver Stars, Signal Hill Choir, Raymond Ramnarine, Roy Cape with Blacks. Black Stalin, Baron, Drupati, Ricky Jai, The Mighty Trini, JMC Triveni, Asylum with Fayon and Bungie, Nigel Rojas, Crazy, DeFosto, Natasha Wilson, Aaron Duncan, and so much, much more. Come and celebrate independence with pride, passion, and patriotism on Independence Day at the Queen's Park Oval from 6 p.m., a free national concert dedicated to the people of Trinidad and Tobago as we celebrate 50 years as an independent nation. So this week, lots of activities, lots of things are going, going, will be going on in and around the country in celebration of our independence. So this year, you know the regional corporations in Trinidad and Tobago, they have all been organizing and they'll be having and they'll be hosting special events in the various regional corporations in and around our country, all in the celebration of our 50th anniversary as an independent nation. Even in Tobago, activities have been organized. And if you know in your regional corporation, in your area, there's an activity, we urge you to go out and support it. Councillors from the various electoral districts have been given the opportunity to have special celebrations within the area. You go out and support it. All of this in an effort to bring the people of Trinidad and Tobago together as one people, under one flag, under one nation, as we celebrate our 50th anniversary as an independent nation. You 50 years only once. So this year we want to make it a very special event 
And as you can see, and as we have informed you, there's going to be a number of activities all this week to mark this historic once in a lifetime opportunity as Trinidad and Tobago will be celebrating its 50th anniversary as an independent nation. It's time now to take another quick break on today's edition of Moving Forward here on Win TV. Do stay with us and we shall be right back.